Of, oh, we've started? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so please state your name for the folks at home. Alex Skimbody. Say that again. Alex Skimbody. Skimbody? <laughs> really? <laughs> what, what is that? Is that some kind of comedy name? Or? <laughs> What, what, what is it? Is, is, is it uh, French? Italian. Italian? Yep. Oh, Skimbardi. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> so, uh, are you a dancer? I'm an actor. Ah, actor. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what have you acted in then? Uh, what? Just getting started? Just mm -hmm. getting started? Yeah. Do you go to acting class? Yeah. See, when you're in the acting class, do you, are there cute boys in your acting class and you practice scenes where you make out with each other and stuff? Yeah, yeah I went to them too. <laughs> Look, you know, it's good that you're getting out and making friends, but, um, but you've got to be careful. There's a lot of unscrupulous, rotten types in this town, and if you're not careful, you could end up hosting a crappy late-night talk show. <laughs> And I worry about you. Do you have an agent? I don't, no. Well, that's, that's good. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you just sit in Lesbian Row so you could be on the show? Sort of, kind of. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> so you're using this show to forward your career? <laughs> Is that right? You know, why not? <laughs> Good luck to you, I say. What kind of work are you after then? You want to, you want to, in case, you know, in case someone who works in show business's cable is broken and they're watching this show? <laughs> Maybe, go ahead, go ahead and audition. What, would you have an audition piece ready? No. <laughs> oh, come on, you can do something. What about a bit of Shakespeare or something? Uh... All right, let's, let's pretend, right, we'll improv a scene. I'm your father, and okay. I've come home, and I've found you with your boyfriend, and you, you've been making out on the couch, and I'm furious. I've just sent him out, and now I'm coming back to deal with you. All right? Okay. All right. Okay. Stay there. <laughs> what the hell was that? I'm really sorry, Dad. Oh, that's all right. I love you. Yeah, okay. Just hanging out with my new friend. <laughs> Alex? Mm hmm What are you doing? I wanted to sneak up and talk to him. <laughs> he's really cute. D he's really cute. He's also gay and dead. <laughs> Two things that make him a little unavailable to you, Missy. Yeah. Jeff, what the hell? Man, you can't just be bringing girls out of the audience and putting them on the show so easy, they can... Easy, easy, Craig. <laughs> I'm ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for the sake of argument. You're ACDC. You're a little too old for her, though, aren't you? I mean, you're dead! <laughs> yes, but I'm plugged in. And I can go for a long time. This is too creepy, Alex. This is too creepy. You shouldn't be hanging... See, this is the kind of thing I warned you about. In Hollywood, you try to be an actress and then, you know, creepy old guys like Jeff will hit on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm worried. Well, uh, have you guys worked out an audition thing then? Uh, we certainly have. Uh, yeah. Listen, darling, I've got an audition tomorrow night at my place. <laughs> it's on my couch. <laughs> All right, that's enough. What, ti uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Why don't you tell everyone what time it is, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> what time is it, Alex? Time for emails. <laughs> and? And tweets. Yes, that's right! <laughs> This is 
from uh, Stephen in Baltic, Ohio. You ever been to Baltic, Ohio? Uh, yes, I have. What about you, Alex? You ever been to Baltic, Ohio? Yeah. What? <laughs> really? What? Do you, have you, do you have a place there? Yes. You do? I do. What do you do? Your place in Baltic, Ohio? Well, I hang out with Jeff. <laughs> And Jeff, what do you do at Baltic, Ohio? I get naked and throw beads with Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, this is weird. Look, dear Craig and Jeff and Alex. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I, uh, I'm about to complete my degree in education. Do you guys have any advice for, to help me to make a good first impression with my students? Alex, I'm going to throw this one to you. What, what do you think, Alex? <laughs> How do you make a good impression without, uh, you know, gussying yourself up and sitting in lesbian row? How do you... <laughs> How would you make a good impression on a, on a future employer? Uh, we put on a fake Scottish accent and you wear a yellow tie. Hey! <laughs> <What the hell? laughs> yeah, I want to make a complaint. <laughs> I'm calling about you. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, just coming on here and, uh, you know, making stuff up and, like, you know, yeah, being mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's hanging out with the robot. Like, her and the robot are taking over the whole show, and I'm just, like, some redundant old creepy foreigner. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> Wait. That was your mom, Alex. <laughs> Hey, Alex, the phone's not plugged in. He's talking to himself. What the hell, man? He does this all the time. He's fired me like ten times. <laughs> Who's that at the door? from Emma in New York and uh, Philadelphia, who says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff and Alex, I don't know. <laughs> My friend and I had an, ar an argument about morality. Do you think that people can be moral without religion? Oh, interesting one. Alex? <laughs> I don't know if you should ask me. <laughs> Why? Is there a moral component to me asking you if people can be moral without religion? <laughs> no, it's because she's going to have sex with a robot. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no, man, she's not. She's using you. Don't you see that? Your whole relationship is a sham between the two of you. Just agree with whatever he says. <laughs> That's it, Nod. Yeah, yes, you're correct, Craig. <laughs> Uh, this is from Danny in Birmingham, Alabama. Ever been to Birmingham, Alabama? Yeah, there, Alex, George, Jeff, you know, yeah, 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 hang out with each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be fine. Dear Craig and Jeff and Alex, uh, when is it socially acceptable to start a food fight? Jeff, that's one for you. Uh, wait, you, help me out here, Alex. What is it? Eat. No, I don't need to. I don't eat. Uh, <laughs> so, oh, 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 oh. Trouble in paradise? <laughs> You're Trouble in paradise, eh? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> well, we're fine, Craig. No! You're fine. I think he's like a star is born, except you're not Barbara anymore, Jeff, are you? <laughs> How does it feel now, Jeff? Eh? You've gone from being Barbara, now you're Chris. When he starts pouting like that, it's a great show. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I, I'd like you to uh, meet a friend of mine, a lovely young woman. Her name is Athena. Athena, do you know anybody who's in this studio at the moment? Maybe. Oh, who would be oh, the person that you would know, Athena? I think I might know her. 
What's, what's her name? I think it's Alex. Alex, really, Athena? And what's your relationship to Alex? Um, I gave birth to her. <gasps> She's your mom! <laughs> You're in trouble now, but not as much as you are, Jeff Peterson. Uh -oh. Do you know that? Now, did you bring Alex to Los Angeles, or are you from here? Uh, no, I'm actually visiting, and she's here. Oh, I see. Where are you from? From North Carolina, Raleigh. Raleigh? It's nearly at Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes. Claire and I are friends. You're friends with yes. Claire Danes? <laughs> what the hell? Does everybody in show business know each other? Of course. Oh. <laughs> I feel such a fool. I feel like I've been used, almost as if you put your daughter in lesbian row so she could get on in show business. <laughs> well, your plan backfired, Athena, because she was on this show instead. But... Are you okay with her being in show business? Yes. All right. Well, are you in show business yourself? No. What business are you in? I'm a homemaker. That's a great business to be in. One that you might want to consider. <laughs> Although, choose your partner wisely. <laughs> Someone who perhaps has a little more job security than your bony friend right now. <laughs> Are you all right with the uh, type of men that she dates? Are you okay with that? Uh, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you out here to check up on anyone? Um, not at the moment. Yeah. Not that I don't know of, of anyone. That yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. I got, no, listen, I see that. I got kids. I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I think all's well that ends well. Um, I wish you good luck. And uh, look, um, here's 50 bucks. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So, Alex, you're back. I'm back. Alex, the girl that sat in lesbian role because she's an actress and wanted to be noticed, I put her on TV like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> then you were on two nights. And then I heard that you had applied to the internship program here. I did, yeah. You're an ambitious little spud, aren't you? <laughs> well, Alex, I've got news for you. Mm -hmm. You got the position. I did. Yes, you did. Oh, <laughs> uh, Alex? Alex, mm -hmm. it, it's an unpaid position, yeah. <laughs> and the fact that you got it was nothing to do with me. <laughs> I have no power around here, but many of our interns go on to great things. Case in point, the wonderful Bridger. Come forth, Bridger, come on forth. <laughs> Bridger, this is Alex. Alex, this is Bridger. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is awesome. It's like a show where you get to meet new friends. <laughs> Well, you know, Bridger uh, used to be an intern here. Okay. Yeah, but now Bridger is a production assistant. Mm -hmm. Bridger! Bridger, can you tell young Alex here what her duties will be as an intern? Um, help me clean up the catering. <laughs> and what's the, uh, what are the duties of the production assistant? Um, get the catering. <laughs> But Bridger, you're the big man on campus here. I want you. I want you. You're about the right age with Alex. You guys are the same height, similar coloring. I, uh, I'd like you. I'd like you to show her around and show the ropes. You know, and uh, and uh, no funny business. I'm setting you up, man. <laughs> Do you hear me? Uh, this is nothing. You don't worry about no, this. No, I'm not Now, there's, uh, you know, don't. I mean, I don't want any of that uh, jiggery-pokery going on here. <laughs> <laughs> now, you kids be fine, and uh, you get her home by 11. She's like a daughter to me. <laughs> and, and you, careful for him, he's a wild man. Oh. <laughs> right, now, you kids, off you go, and uh, start doing things with catering or whatever you do, and... <laughs> And you, keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> and you, keep your hands to yourself. Uh, Alex and Bridger, everybody. There you go. <laughs> now, what, this is the best part. What Alex and Bridger don't know is that we have secret cameras following them around all the time. <laughs> 
And we've got little chips put in their bodies so that their GPS equipment can follow them wherever they go in the world. Now, that's not true, but if it was, wouldn't it be awesome? <laughs> that would be a TV show. Unfortunately, it's just another night of the Friday. Right. We'll be right back. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Well, Jeff, they got the new it couple for America right here. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, whatever. Didn't think it was possible, but you're actually thinner than I am. <laughs> what the hell, man? Hey, that what was the my hell? girl, man. That was my girl. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's right. <laughs> yeah, kind, of, I completely... kind of a minor plot point. <laughs> I forgot that you, you guys used to go out for an episode. I, <laughs> um, well, you know, uh, Alex has moved on. Maybe you should. That looks like you like a little ginger in your coffee there, Alex. <laughs> Guess if you're into dudes, it look like Opie. <laughs> this is like a reality show with freaks. Because <laughs> oh, there's no freaks on any other reality show. I'm saying the opposite of what's true. Your hand just moved, which is weird, because this is the one that doesn't move. Must just be a spasm. <laughs> I'm, pl I'm plugged in. I can go longer. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everybody. Say good night, kids. <laughs> Hey, it's Bridger and Alex, everybody! I don't know if you remember, Bridger and Alex, uh, Bridger here uh, once was uh, an intern and now is a full-blown production assistant. And, uh... <laughs> And Alex uh, is an intern at the moment, and when Alex joined the show, I said, well, you guys are similar height and colouring. You should be a couple. <laughs> um, and, uh, and here we are to announce their engagement. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I just made that up. <laughs> I don't know if it's true. Is it true? No. 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 Oh, you thought it was true, Bridger. Sorry, Bridger. No, Bridger, no. It's, it's all right. You guys getting along? You playing nice? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You having a fun time? Mm-hmm. Good. Lots of running around. Wow. Yeah, yeah, look adorable, the pair of you. It's just... <laughs> I feel enormous standing here. <laughs> I mean, you guys could live in the space between my tie and my pants. <laughs> Well, it's working out. So, uh, how long have you got to go on your internship then, Alex? I think four months. Four months? Mm -hmm. Still to go? Still to go. Oh, yeah. and then you get a college credit? Yeah, six of them. Six credits? Yeah. Yep. What the hell are you studying? <laughs> Theater and film. Oh, well, I guess that yeah. would make sense, uh, you know, what to avoid. <laughs> How's it going with you, Bridger? Enjoying the high life? Yeah, oh, you absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Richard, I kind of feel you hate me. <laughs> well, not all the time, only when I put you on camera. The rest of the time when you're going around the office, you're like, hey, hey, and then the minute I, we put you on the camera, you're like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> so, He are. just needs more caffeine, I think. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> They're adorable. <laughs> Why don't get them to see that? I think we should send you guys on a mission somewhere. Mm -hmm. I have decided, much to the fear of the producers who have just now thought, <laughs> oh, right, he's going to spend some money. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, but I just thought we should. We should send you off to do what are the other late nights. They do, they do remote pieces where people go places and do reports. I got yeah. We should do that too. <laughs> yeah, we should. Yeah. We should do yeah, we're gonna Crikey Dingo. Do that. <laughs> now, where would you like to go, kids? Remember your budget's fifty bucks. Mm. 
Uh, well, we go to the Grove enough. The Grove? No, not the Grove. Not the Grove. Not no, the grove. further away. The Grove's a shopping mall that's a walking distance from here. Yes. Uh, yes. You could aim higher. Yeah. Maybe the zoo? Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, all right. All right, Bridger. You and your fiance, sort of, <laughs> Alex, are going to go to the zoo. Sorry. Which zoo? Well, wait. We don't know which zoo yet. A zoo that will make us a deal. <laughs> Your move, zoos of America, within, <laughs> within driving distance of this studio. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Maybe I'll stand up for a bit of the show. <laughs> now, oh, I'm fine. Um, oh, Jeff, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's a new bit. Oh, does that work? <laughs> Can you hear me saying Jeff Peterson? Do you remember uh, Alex and Bridger? Uh, you know, Alex, who's the intern here, and Bridger, who's the PA. You remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, right? Yeah. And, like, I'm trying to fix them up, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. And, the, you know, and I said, I'm going to send them on a date to the zoo. The zoo, yeah. Yeah, you remember zoo. I said I was going to do that? Yeah, I remember well, that. I, well, I've done it, Jeff. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's see if we can check in with them using the satellite. Hello, Alex and Bridger, are you at the zoo? Oh, there they are, yeah. Hey! <laughs> I, I love the safari outfit, Bridger. Did you, you get that at the gift shop? Uh, no, it's my old boy scout uniform. <laughs> it still fits because I haven't grown since I was nine. Yeah. <laughs> That's some pretty quiet flamingos behind you. <laughs> Are those flamingos miming? <laughs> oh, I can hear them now. No, it sounds like eggs frying or something. <laughs> Are those flamingos? Anyway, look, you, you, you guys look great. Alex, you look adorable. I bet Bridger can't keep his hands off you. Actually, Bridger's been a perfect gentleman. He knows I have a boyfriend, and we're only here because you're delusional. <laughs> it's like I said, Jeff, they're adorable, aren't they? Absolutely adorable. Yeah. So uh, how about the flamingos? That's romantic, isn't it? Oh, Craig, this smells awful. And do you see Bridger? He looks like he's going to puke. Oh, come on, it's Bridger. He always looked like he's going to puke. <laughs> Besides, flamingos are, are fascinating. Tell me what you learned about them so far. They're horny. Really? Yeah. How horny are they? Oh, well, when we got here, there were only two. Wow. Uh, anything else? Well, they're born white, and they turn pink because of the plankton in their diet. <laughs> Great. Are you happy now, Greg? Bridger's dead. Come on, it's Bridger. He always drops lifelessly to the ground. Give him a, go on, give him a kick. Okay. Oh, he that sounded realistic. Give him another kick. <laughs> All right, give him two kicks, wait a little minute, and then kick him again. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> so on a scale of one to ten, right, Alex, how, how, would, how would you give the date? One to ten. Well, okay, so I'm miserable. The smell's awful. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Bridger is being sexually assaulted by a flamingo. Uh, so, what, you, you think a five then? Something like that? A five, a six? Uh, oh. There are feathers everywhere. So, what, a nine? Are we thinking a nine? Craig, can I go home now, please? Certainly, Alex, but you're not going home empty-handed. Shadow? Alex and Bridger, your magical date continues because Craig Ferguson is treating you to a visit to the enchanting Los Angeles River. Oh, yeah. You lost both have fun, all right? I hate you. I think I got bird flu. I think that worked out, don't you, Jeff? Did Bridger just do it with a flamingo? No, I, uh, I, for legal reasons, absolutely not. I, th I think the flamingo did it with Bridger anyway. <laughs> Technically. Do you know, I have to say, let's stop everyone. Let's just stop for a minute. Do you know we rehearsed that sketch? <laughs> no. We never, you, this is a big deal for us. We, I, have we ever rehearsed, Jeff? Never. Never. But we rehearsed, well, when I say we rehearsed it, we, Jeff and I didn't rehearse it, but we sent them to rehearse it, and then we filmed it. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> Intern Rehearsal Theater. Sketches on the show are not rehearsed by real people. Instead, we use unpaid interns who are expendable in case anything goes wrong. <laughs> Intern Rehearsal Theater. All right. Wait, wait. That was kind of better than the sketch, really. <laughs> What do you think, Jeff? Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, it was pretty good. We should have kept it that short as well, I think. <laughs> don't I look different when I don't have makeup on, though? You really do. I know. You do, too. The hell? <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Jeff's birthday tonight, he's two. In robot years, that means he's... 384. All right. So, we thought it'd be a, I thought it'd be a great idea if, you know, if I, um, if I invited Jeff's ex-girlfriend and heterosexual experiment, uh, <laughs> Alex, to come over and, you know, and wish him happy birthday, and we got him a hat, and uh, things have gotten a little weird. <laughs> Look like a gay wizard. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. They have straight wizards? I know. Yeah. So, uh, things being awkward, are you and Jeff, you know? A little bit. Yeah? Yeah, because Jeffrey Dean Morgan's on the show tonight. Yeah? Yeah, and I kind of have a crush on him. <laughs> a little Would that bit. be because his first name is Jeffrey? <laughs> Is it that or because he's handsome and human and, uh, and alive? Yeah. Partially. 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 And yeah. he's a little bit more brawny than Jeff. Yeah? Yeah. I'm standing right here. <laughs> See, this, this is why it got awkward, because all Alex can talk about is why Jeff is unattractive to her. <laughs> but, Jeff, it was an experiment anyway, and, you know, you're gay, it was your heterosexual experiment, and, you know, you tried it out and it didn't work. Yeah, I think the fact that I also have no genitals was a problem. Was that a problem in your relationship? A little bit, yeah. yeah. So, what you're, so what you're saying is, that's what you require? <laughs> yeah. Man. I'm very shallow. Yeah, I, yeah. I feel awkward. <laughs> Maybe I should just leave you guys to, you know, figure things out on your own. I'll go and head over, uh, I don't know, NBC or something. <laughs> Yeah, Alex, you want to go figure things out? Oh, okay. Backstage? Works every time. <laughs> what do you say? Works every time. What works every time? What I just did there. <laughs> what, want to go and work things out? But saying it in that weird kind of creepy way? Like, want to go and work things out? Ooh, you want to go backstage? <laughs> I can't believe it. It worked right there. Absolutely. Oh, do you two guys want to go and work things out? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Best commercial break for me ever. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs>